In this video, we will evaluate radicals on the TI-84 graphing calculator. We're asked to evaluate and then write the related exponential equation, if needed, round to four decimal places. So first we have the square root of 144. We can access the square root from the home screen. Notice there's a square root above the x squared key, which means if we press second x squared, it brings up the square root. We enter 144, press enter. The square root of 144 is 12. The reason the square root of 144 is 12 is because 12 squared is equal to 144. Remember, for a square root, the index is two. Next, we have the square root of 259. So again, from the home screen, we press second x squared, which brings up the square root, enter 259, press enter. We're told around to four decimal places. Notice how in the fifth decimal place, there's a seven, which means you round up. The value is approximately 16.0935. The reason the square root of 259 is approximately 16.0935 is if we square 16.0935, we will get approximately 259. And let's go ahead and verify this on the calculator. It won't be exact because we did round, but again, 16.0935 squared is approximately 259. Next, we have the cube root of 343. We cannot access the cube root from the home screen. We need to press math, and then notice option four is the cube root because the index here is three. So we press four, enter the radicand of 343, press enter. The cube root of 343 is equal to seven. Now the reason the cube root of 343 is equal to seven is because if we take seven and raise it to the power of the index, which is three, we will get the radicand of 343. And of course we can check this if we want. Seven raised to the power of three is 343. Next we have the cube root of 529. So we press math, number four for the cube root. Enter the radicand of 529, press enter. And again, we're told to round to the fourth decimal place. Notice how there's a seven in the fifth decimal place, which means you round up. The value is approximately 8.0876. The reason the cube root of 529 is approximately 8.0876 is because if we cube 8.0876, we will get approximately 529. And again, let's check this. It won't be exact because we did round, but 8.0876 cubed, erase the third power, is approximately 529. Next we have the fourth root of 81. Whenever the index is higher than three, we enter the index first from the home screen. So we enter four, then math, and then option five. Notice how option five has an index of x, which we just entered as four. So if we select option five, notice how we have the fourth root now. We enter 81 and enter. And notice how the result is three. The reason the fourth root of 81 is equal, to, the reason the fourth root of 81 is equal to three is because if we raise three to the power of the index or the fourth power, we do get the radicand of 81. For the last example, we have the fourth root of 186. So we enter the index of four, we press math, and then option five, which brings up the fourth root. We enter 186, press enter. Running to the fourth decimal place, notice how there's a nine in the fifth decimal place, which means you round up, which means we change the nine to the left to a 10, so we keep a zero in this place value, perform an exchange with a one, and add it to the place value to the left, giving us a three in the third decimal place. So the value rounded to four decimal places 
is 3.6930. which means if we take 3.6930 and we raise it to the fourth power, we will get approximately 186. And again, let's go ahead and check this. 3.6930 raised to the fourth power is approximately 186. I hope you found this helpful.